little box came in from Mauser which should have capacitors, including the ones needed for the GameCube optical boards for um, the GameCubes on episode 115. So now we can recap those GameCube optical boards. I use a boomed mic stand for a phone holder. I like the ones with a weighted base because it has the smallest footprint. The boom allows for a long reach to get the stand out of the way, and the ball joint at the end allows for almost limitless articulation. I mean, look how easy you can reply on Twitter, and you can easily access information. Best of all, it's a camera for YouTube videos and a microscope at the same time. You are going to need a 4.5 millimeter security bit or driver to remove the bottom case screws. We're going to be using these desoldering tweezers to remove the caps. Refer to episode 97 for information on where you can get them for under 10 bucks. Get some of this Hakko FS100 to condition and tin all of your tips. Apply lots of flux. Gently rocking back and forth works for me. Make sure to maintain contact with the solder joints. Use isopropyl alcohol to clean up the flux residue. Use a desoldering braid to remove the old solder. To solder the capacitors to the board, tack one side of the leads on the capacitor to the board first. For the soldering technique, apply flux to the leads, then load the soldering iron tip, then apply to the lead.
This was the other GameCube on the shelf that had a no disc message. I wonder if this is the way a dentist feels when he does a root canal. I've been advocating for 303 Aerospace ever since I started the channel. Found out about it more than a decade ago from the My 350Z forums. This stuff will not crack or craze plastic like some other product. I had five GameCubes and four were working last time I checked about two years ago. The purple one there has a dead motherboard while the black one was the one I fixed on episode 97 where I did the same optical board recap. I recently sold a working one, but it's crazy to think that these two working ones needed a recap. Or that four out of the five GameCubes in this room had bad optical board capacitors. But yeah, I recently got this Nintendo NES action set from Facebook Marketplace for 80 bucks. And according to the seller, she said that it wasn't used. Judging from what I see and the condition of the box, I think I believe her. The cartridge slides right in super easily. It feels as if the cartridge is not making contact with the pins. And I was doubting if this was going to work. But you know what? First try. Anyways, for the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at that NES. And also, I'm going to show you how to clean an NES cartridge properly and easily.